Welcome back to Good Morning La La Land. We are so honored to have Papa Joe in the house. Talk about transformation. You <laughs> lost over Thank 250 you, pounds in 18 months. Tell us a little bit about Actually, now it's 275. What? Wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Over 275 yeah. pounds. Yeah. Yeah. What, an, what an incredible yeah. transformation you've made. You came in. Do you want to see the pants? Jeans. Let's show the, Let's show the pants. I mean, look at this. That's wow. incredible. That is incredible. It fit multiples of you in there. Wait a minute, let's see. Can, uh... <laughs> yeah, we... that's, <laughs> that's incredible. So what was the moment for you that sparked this transformation? Well, um, I saw myself in my first music video called Last Night a DJ Saved My Life. It became a top 10 Billboard dance hit. When the video came out and I saw myself how big I was in the video, I said, uh, that's it, you gotta change yourself. Wow. Wow. So I had to figure out a way mm -hmm. to change my lifestyle. Where'd you start? <sighs> From the bottom, honestly, from the bottom. I uh, started from rock bottom and just had to figure out a way that I was going to exercise. I was unemployed at the time, being a musician. So I couldn't afford a gym, gastric bypass surgery, or any crazy diets like that. So I said, okay, what's the easiest exercise that you can do at 475 pounds? And that was walking. So I grabbed my tennis shoes and my dance music and I started walking. Wow, was it hard to walk for like how First time around walk? the block, just drenched in sweat. Wow. And I lived on a hill, so I had to get climbed to the top of the hill in order to get back home. And that first time around, I, it killed me. Hmm. But then I said, you know what, let's do it again. Day two, let's get back on it. And actually what uh, Tracy was talking about, being accountable mm -hmm. for your actions and yourself. And I knew that I had to get this weight off of me once and for all. Now so, you're in the vortex of radness. Yes, <laughs> yes. So, what, so from what I understand, you couldn't afford to go like to Whole Foods and get a bunch Correct. of them. So you went to the 99 cent yes. store <laughs> and, you, and there are some organic things there. Yeah? There really is. There I is. mean, people, Not, people okay, sleep good. on 99. You mm -hmm. have to, I mean, you can't sleep on 99. <laughs> I'm, I'm telling you. I'm, but you know what though? I was like everybody else. I'm like, I'm not shopping at the 99 cent only store. You must be crazy. But then it was like, you know, then I went there and I saw that you had fruits and vegetables. And I was like, oh, wow. this is like a godsend. Uh, I don't know. So it's nice to know because I wonder, because I think it's only for like the wealthy people that go to get to get all this good food. And I go, oh, how are people so doing it? You know, it's not cool at all. So that's so good to know. And I, and I shopped there for uh, $40 a week. Wow. 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 That's yes. amazing. Yeah. Transforming your yeah. life and yeah. your and budget. And your budget, yes. Right. Now, tell us, you've got this great hat. Thank you. This is an incredible brand, Electric Nico. Tell yes. us a little bit about it. It is my new motivational superhero. This is the person who I want to be. I want to be hopeful. I want to be inspiring. And I want, you know, but it's also about giving that message out there. Um, I'm turning it into an animated series uh, and a cartoon and a comic book right now. And it's just really about new black, uh, new black superhero, but also about empowering yourself. When I put this shirt on, it helps me to give, it gives me hope. Mm -hmm. It gives me hope, it gives me passion. I get excited about life, because I'm wearing an electric Negro shirt. Hello, it's a novelty <laughs> shirt. <I'm> like, <laughs> and, and this is, in today's world with electronics, it's, this is an epidemic. We've got, you know, major obesity and Correct. things going it is on. on the rise. And really just, people are sitting around. We're not supposed to, you know, sit around like we sit around. Mm -hmm. Tell us about, you were telling on the way to the show today, you took an Uber. Tell yeah. me about that story. I took an Uber and my, the driver was, says, so what are you doing today? And I told him that I'm doing a transformational Tuesday. La -la, good morning, La La Land. It was promoting. <laughs> <laughs> I was promoting. Exactly. <laughs> so he tells me about his 14 year old son who's 300 pounds, 6'4, 300 pounds, doesn't know how to get started. And he's a trainer. He was a trainer. He was a trainer back in the day. So it was like he was asking me, how do I get started? And I should know this because I'm a trainer, but I don't know what to do. I don't know how to tear my son away from video games. I said, well, you got to work with you. You've got to. My advice was find out something that he's going to enjoy. He goes, oh, well, he loves basketball. Okay, well, get him out there running, get some drills, get him in camp, or get him in, you know what I'm saying, or join a team. Mm -hmm. Get involved, you know, just to get him started and kind of break away from TV and, and electronics and everything mm -hmm. else that's kind of like invading our... So how how much walking did you do per day? After you built up, how, ma how many hours, an hour, two hours? How many hours a day? Uh, up to up to five miles a day, rain or shine. Well, we were in sunny California, hello. Two days in a year. Yeah, I'm like, all right, all right, we got this. <laughs> but again, I throw on my shirt and just to empower myself and started motivating people within the neighborhood. And it was really helpful to get outside and see people and just to kind of, and my trick was 
every time the the track went up in the in the, on the charts, I would go to the the magazine stand. I would walk a little further to the next magazine stand to go buy the Billboard magazine and bring it home with me so that I can appreciate that accomplishment. Ah, that's so cool. Thank you. That is so cool. Thank you. If people want to connect with you and get empowered, motivated, and inspired, where can they follow you? Uh, everywhere is Papa Joe Aviance. Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, at Papa Joe Aviance. And download that on SoundCloud. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And the, music, the music's on SoundCloud and iTunes and everywhere. Yeah. yeah, but it really is about, you know, for me it was about, you know, because I'm not going to be on a fitness magazine. I know that. But it was about wait, living a better wait, 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 you're on Billboard. I know, but I mean, it's not, it's not fitness. It's not, you know, that's where I'm at now. I'm kind of venturing off into that, as, into that area because now I work with the American Heart Association. I'm their brand ambassador for the American Heart Association. I do their lifestyle, their lifestyle change ambassador. Mm -hmm. So they have me outside, you know, just trying to pumping up the crowd to get them walking on their on their LA walks that they do here in the city. Make sure you sign up for one. Wow. <laughs> well, they couldn't have a better ambassador or superhero. Thank Absolutely. you so much for being with us Thank here this morning. Thank you so morning. much for having me. I appreciate it. Incredible so, honor. Thank Stay you. tuned. We'll be back for a little more on Good Morning Wildland.